argument. How important is it for Sony to include anime, specifically Suzume, in its library? Uh, increasingly important. Look, we see anime as one of the fastest, if not the fastest growing sector in the entertainment landscape. Um, you know, we invested a lot of money in, in acquiring Crunchyroll, putting it together with Funimation, and really looking to build a service and a community that can really super serve and engage with anime fans. Um, and we want to power that with the best content, with the best movies, to bring the best creators, and to really allow their, their stories and their characters to reach the widest audience possible. Um, and then to do that in a way that's going to last for years and years and years and decades and decades, because we don't see this as a fad that's going away. We see this as a movement whose, whose time is just beginning. All right, thanks so much. Thank you. So natural disasters seem to be a theme, a theme throughout yeah. your films. Yeah. Uh, in your film, specifically this one, uh, Suzume, uh, why is it important for audience members to feel the impact of the 2011 uh, トホクエースクレイクまあ、実際最後はいいと思うんですけど、ま、今回はあの、ダイレクトにその2011年のあの地震によって、ま、人生が変わったようなインパクトを受けたんですね。あの、僕自身が2011年のあの地震によって、ま
but um, yeah, I mean, it was really just kind of had to jump into it and, and be a chair. I was going to ask you that. How was it being a chair? Honestly, everybody was jealous of me because when you're a chair, you don't have to match lip flap because there's no lip flap for the chair. So um, I did have to match for the for the parts where he's in human form. Uh, but yeah, it definitely was a little bit easier to uh, to dub a chair. Yeah, so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. So tell me about your experience working on the film Zuzume. So I play Daijin and also the cat Sadaijin. Um, Daijin overall, she's an amazing character. She's a cat, which she's a white, tiny, little, wonderful cat who's evil. She turns somebody into a chair, and that's beautiful. Like, she has the power to turn somebody into a chair. And uh, Sadaijin, she's kind of like Daijin, a little less evil, but until tell that there's some evil in her black hat tall really cool both of them are really cool my experience voice acting them always really good it was really fun fun doing it and I got and I got to meow a lot of times so yeah <laughs> thank you so much what is the most exciting part about working on this film to be a part of a work of art um, to get to work alongside legends that I've loved we've gone through a pandemic and and now we just get to celebrate not only being alive, but being in this incredible industry that's really connected us throughout the darkest of times. It's a moment of light. Uh, Were you familiar with uh, Shinkai's work prior to this? Yes, yes. Uh, a friend of mine was in Your Name, which is just really beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a fan of the artwork. Um, I'm so glad to be a part of the movie, but just I'm ecstatic that the world is really recognizing such a beautiful time. What can you tell me about your character? Oh, she's like me. Mickey's a little sassy. <laughs> and, um, yeah, she's a good friend to have in times of need. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, first and foremost, uh, congratulations on the role. Thank you so much. <laughs> what can you tell me about your character? And your, can you tell me about also your experience working behind the booth and voicing the character? Yeah, so um, Tomiki is a kind of like a surrogate mom to Susan May. Um, they're, they're related and so forth. And she she gave up her life to raise Susan May and um, is just doing the best she can to be the best mom that she could be. Um, personally, I identify with that. I'm a mom, so <laughs> so when I auditioned for the role and then when I started working in the booth, I was it was very easy for me to connect because a lot of her feelings and thoughts I was able to identify with. So um, yeah, and then just being in the booth, it's it's, it's just man just magical every time I'm in, I'm in the booth and working with Bill Bill over here he's a fantastic director and we just we just layered on emotion after emotion and as much depth as we could prior to this project were you aware or at least familiarized with uh, Shinkai's work yeah I'll be very transparent when I first got the audition and then booked the um, Tamaki I didn't know much about Shinkai um, but I immediately connected with the audition um, that I had and I got into the booth Bill told me a lot about Shinkai and I was hooked I was I started binge watching. I started. I watched your name, weathering with you. I cried. I laughed, and I was like, I'm. I am just so incredibly grateful to be a part of Susan May. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, what have you been up to these days? What haven't I been up to these days? Honestly? Obviously, you've been in Susan <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for Susan I mean, oh, I can't believe I'm in this. I've been. I'm in this movie. I knew this. I remember seeing the announcement for this last year and just telling everyone I know about how badly I want to be in this movie. <laughs> yeah, come me. I mean, I was shocked when I saw your name in, in the cast and I was like, whoa, wrestling. <laughs> I was shocked when I saw my name in the cast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so tell me more, more about your experience working on, on the film. Oh, my experience? I mean, if I'm being honest, it was just like a three hour session. I remember going in there being so nervous that I wasn't going to do well because I just, I want to do my, I want to do my best in every single movie I do. But it was just since it's dubbing and it's my first dubbing for anime and I just, 
I went in there, at first half an hour, so nervous. I sort of stumbled a little bit, but then the director, Bill, he's so kind and so forgiving. And after all, like, I really got into it. And by the end of those three hours, I'm like, wow, I can't believe it's over. And I can't believe I'm just those three hours and I'm in this movie. Crazy. And boom, just like that, you're in a Shinkai film. Just like that, yeah. <laughs> so tell me more about your character, uh, Chika. Yeah, Chika, she is a really gutsy, really confident person who's unapologetically herself and I think when audiences watch her she might be like, oh uh, wow, who is this girl? But um, well, when Susume meets Chika, she's definitely she definitely is all scared of her, ever being a little bit honest but I think after a while um, as the audience gets to know Chika um, they realize, wow, she's she's really more than what we see.